Hello everyone, welcome back to Joyful Learning 365 YouTube channel. So in this video, we are trying to understand, like uh, usually you can see here, audit history tab is there. Basically audit history tab, we are able to see in a related tab. But like uh, sometimes there might be requirement that uh, within mm, client don't want to uh, click multiple times on a form. So they don't want to go uh, multiple places and they don't, it is very hard uh, to remember. So whenever they open the form, right, immediately they want to see. So within the same single page, they want to see. So now the question is like how we can bring within the same, uh, like uh, within same page that uh, those those all things that is the question so simply we can bring it like a we can bring it by using the iframe and some javascript code which has been uh, which we can implement and we can get easily this require uh, achieve this requirement so for that uh, requirement first we need to create a an embed a iframe and again we need to write the some javascript code so as you can see on the screen there is a javascript code is on handy is there so first on functional load we have we are calling one function called it as a set audit iframe url so in the set audit iframe url the first uh, like a uh, here like a form context execution context for everywhere like for everything will write the same line but here we have a one uh, syntax of microsoft uh, xrm dot utility dot get entity metadata form context dot data dot entity by get the entity by name so basically by entity name we can get the data and uh, we can pass the um, we can pass the url and we can construct the like a an iframe and we can show it in a form so let's see by this code like a, you can easily achieve your requirement so simply this in this function nothing is that directly instead of calling this direct function like we are calling it is uh, we are calling it from here okay so if you want like you can skip this one directly you can use this one but here you need to remove this one execution code and context and you need to add some like this one okay that's it like uh, now this this two uh, javascript you need to make it as a handy before starting the requirement okay so here you can see let's try to first add the one uh, web form so basically in this form this is the form which we are using so you know that which the form by default only comes with the account entities as a insights form so here i'll go in the tables and from there i'll go to the accounts and from here i'll go to the forms and from here i can go to the account again so sorry here not account so if you see here sales inside this form was using so in your scenario it might be different because like a, it's like by default form i am using so in your scenario it might be different okay that might be the same so here as you can see this is the form how it is in a just now i have opened it in a designer mode as you can see on the screen this is like a we have designer mode as we open okay so you can see here this is the normal page okay now what i need to do here like exactly so here this uh, is there right so from here what i will do first uh, i will i will add a one web uh, one external file so first thing what i need to do here so i will select the area where exactly i want to add that iframe so like a beside the like a downside of the account information i need to add the iframe so i'll select this one i'll select this uh, area okay i'll select this area and after that i will click on the components and from their components you can see there are multiple components are supported in the microsoft dynamics 365 crm so here underneath of the display we are able to see the external website okay click on this external website and here like a you can see here this uh, we like a we can give here name it as a whatever the name you want to give right you can give like for example i'll give it as a joyful learning 365 as a site name url and again here uh, like so here in the code whatever the code we knew inside the code what we are using for example iframe underscore add it right so here whatever the name you want to give you can give here so like the same name i am giving here it as a copy and paste it here iframe underscore audit 
and after that click on the okay just for creating a dummy url here so which might be irreplaceable replaceable like again in onload we are changing this url okay just as of now i'm giving it as a dummy url okay you can give also dummy url anything but because on whenever screen is getting loaded right at that point of time we'll uh, change forcefully this uh, url okay but as of now i'm giving it as a dummy url so as you can see the name i have given iframe underscore audit for this one so now what i will do i'll save it okay i'll save it and publish it so now my iframe is successfully placed in the form now what i need to do i need to add a javascript so for the javascript i need to add a form libraries in this form library there is already my libraries are added with the name of the sample javascript b39 and b40 batch from i'll click on three bullet dots and from there i'll click on the edit button so as you can see on the screen so here whatever the code is there right simply i'll copy and paste this code okay so here you can see I am removing this old code, junk code, whatever the junk code is there, right? I am removing this and simply copying this code, entire code, control C, control V, click on the save and publish. Save and publish. Again, click on the save and publish from here also. So now, thing I created iframe. Second thing, whatever the JavaScript I have written here, the same JavaScript like this one. Then this JavaScript. So here, just if you are if you are changing the name, you need to change the name. Apart from the everything as it is, you can use. So I'll add it in a description. From there, this code you can copy paste and you can use it accordingly your requirement. And now, what is coming to here? So the second first thing we added the iframe. Second thing we designed the code and uploaded it in a web resource. The third thing is we need to add a event handler means uh, in which form this function whatever the function is there right this function you need to register now form on load function is there okay simply copy this form on load function and go to this uh, exactly here there are like as you can see on the screen the form properties are there okay so in form properties uh, properties beside there is a events are there okay in, in on load event there are like already uh, like uh, some is there i'll remove this one so on load is there right so from here so simply you need to click on this toggle this one and from here click on the plus event handler and from here so select which uh, which event you want to register so as of now uh, this one I like I was planning to show on unload right so I'm selecting here it as a unload and from here in the web resource library I need to select so where is my code located exactly my code is available in a crc08 underscore sample javascript b39 and b40 simply I have selected this uh, library and here whatever the function name is there right so function name basically this is the function name you can call this one also directly or else this one also so like a um, for easier understanding multiple ways we can so that's the reason i have divided into this one simply i have uh, pasted this form on load uh, function name after that i have clicked on the enablement main make sure that it should be enabled then only your javascript will work after that you need to click on the pass execution context as a first parameter or uh, once you have clicked on this right after that you need to click on the done button okay now the three options are we did. What is first we written? Uh, we we kept the iframe in a form. Second thing we written a JavaScript and we uploaded the JavaScript into a web resource. Third tip, third thing, third step we registered our function. Now fourth one, fourth step is we need to again save and publish whatever the changes you have done right. Those all changes you need to save and publish so if you you need to make sure every time whatever the changes you are doing right you need to make sure that every time you need to save and publish now it has been saved and published now here come to this browser and here 
try to refresh this uh, like a multiple times multiple times refresh your screen multiple times let me refresh my screen multiple times so basically where we kept our uh, where we kept here like as you can know as you can see on the screen so beside this uh, our iframe is located uh, beside this information account information right now i am going here and I, as you can see on the screen beside the account information as you can see on the screen audit history table is whatever this is audit history all data is available here now i can just select from here if you want to increase the length width and you can design according to your like a space so this is the, i don't want to do anything changes so that's the reason see all fields any all features you are able to see so in form designing you can remove this right hand side and you can extend this one and based on that you can customize so this is how we can place a, a audit history in a form so there are four basic steps we need to follow first thing is you need to insert a iframe second thing is you need to write a javascript and upload into the web resource the third step you need to follow it is that uh, you need to register the function the fourth one is you need to save and publish the changes after that this one so that's it for the today i hope you have learned this video i'll share this code in a description from there you can have a look into this thank you very much for watching joyful learning 360 for youtube videos please like share and subscribe for more interesting updates thank you